Okay, maybe you should introduce yourself. Maybe that'll be like. <laughs> uh, hi. Okay. I'm Kabir. And uh, yeah. Thanks for having us. All right, let's start. Let's, why don't we just start with this corner? Okay, I'm not going to be able to pronounce them very well, so okay. you're going to have to pronounce them. I, um, I will be equally bad. This one, of course, the is names. the Gloriosum. Yep. It was really popular. Yeah. For a um, long time. About a year and a half, actually. It was really popular. Oh. I mean, uh, even just single notes were going for so much. But it's, uh, the price value has gone down a lot. Something like this, probably a year back, what, probably sold for like 150 or something like that? Oh gosh, even more. Even more? Oh. Yeah, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, right. six leaves. So you're looking about uh, 250, 275. Now, I think now it's just a lot more people are providing it. That too, but also there's all these hybrids right now with the yeah. Glori Gloriosum that a lot of people are looking more for the hybrids. Right, the hybrids are a lot hotter now. I think as far as collectors, um, we are like really about hybrids and variegation. Okay, talk. tell us about uh, this one. Oh, this one? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's, it's like, the Philodendron Geodia. Uh, but then, um, I will just like show NSC, the, the name. We got it from NSC and actually they, so okay. G-E-O-L-D-I-I. Um, it's a really beautiful uh, philodendron. It's not really popular among collectors and everything, but uh, this is a semi-mature um, version. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, it just really continues to spiral and just gets bigger and bigger. Um, this type of philodendron spreads out, so it's not something that will, you know, vine or anything, yeah. and you just kind of need the space. So, so how does it, how does it actually, how does it actually grow? Does the growth point, like, you get a new node right here? Mm -mm. Nope, right here. This new one will be the stem, and then we'll have all these leaves. Oh, I see. Okay, the, mm -hmm. all the leaves come out at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they just, and then and, they get bigger. And then as they, as the plant matures, each stem will come out with more leaves mm -hmm. hopefully <laughs> yeah and spiral more okay yeah that's very nice i think in the states i i think a lot of people haven't seen the mature version mm. um the the very juvenile version and the seedlings they're really different looking the oh. leaves are actually fat and they look like a discurvia it's not until they become more mature that you can really see what it does and um so yeah i don't think it's been popularized only because of that when you know when you don't show it the people can't see you know well there's hopefully it'll catch up in popularity <laughs> and then let me see what you have <coughs> over here oh this is just a silver splash <sighs> <laughs> and the more common it's like mm. the Edisonii, mykins the shangri-la <laughs> i really like that it's like a it's a pothos yeah it, right? it's a pothos, right they call it the will to spinach or something <laughs> It's a pothos and um, grows like a pothos, but it grows and it's it's uh, flat and then wrinkles or wrinkles and then flattens out. I forget. I thought that the form changes as it gets more mature. I haven't reached that point yet. I have one. It's I think it's a little bit smaller than yours, but yeah, it's a it's a fun one, right? Yeah, like it's <laughs> super cute, super cute. And um, people have uh, put it on trellises and it's really cute on a trellis oh, okay. actually, as opposed to just cascading. So it does vine. Mm hmm Oh. Yeah, because a pothos, it grows like a pothos. So it'll just continue to grow long oh, and then okay. it can attach to things. No. Um, you get green ones and then this is a more variegated form also. Oh, I didn't even know that it got it got variegated. But yeah, I can I can uh, appreciate the name wilted spinach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a elbow and a is it Aria or Aria? For, I, I don't, I call it Aria, but I, I call it Aria. <laughs> okay, well, I, uh, I don't know. It's, they're both understandable. So. <laughs> and then this actually is really cute. People don't really, um, it's become a little popular recently, but this is the Pink Pepperoni Pink Lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this one. It's cute. It's, I don't, I haven't seen this one, I think, I, I, yeah. in person. It's never going to be like crazy expensive, but um, it's a really, pretty variegated um, Peperomia. What's the green one behind there? Oh, it's a mid and medium. The mom yep, yep, plant yep. is actually in the greenhouse. You'll see it's, it's okay. bigger. Um, but they, they throw out so many runners, like a mid <laughs> Yeah. And so I'm always just like chopping them to encourage more leaf. I mean, I'm looking at that leaf, the size of that leaf. It's your, your mother plant must be big. Like that must be a really mature mother yeah. plant. Or, uh, I lost a lot of the uh, larger uh, original leaves. They were like this big. Right. 
and then um, but they are because it's mature the leaves are continuing to be larger yeah so the, so when the new leaves pop out of that plant are you expecting it to be large leaves or small leaves um, you know what they've been um, getting the same size Wow. Okay. Yeah. Typically, you know, when you cut and everything, like mid cuts and stuff, yeah. you get like beginner leaves. I again. that's how I always feel about them. Mm -hmm. But I understand that like there are some plants that do retain the leaf size. I think it depends on how mature the um, the mother plant the mother plant is. I'll show you in the greenhouse. Also, I got a Florida Beauty cutting, and the leaf was like big. But it was a mid cut, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have this little tiny yeah, leaf. You yeah. Yeah. That's what I would expect uh, too. It was like the first leaf was like this big, and it got it got big real really fast. fast. Yeah, so now I'm now I'm like okay, mid cuts are okay as long as the mother plant Thank is you. mature. Because I always feel bad when people buy something like a like a cutting like that that's like a large, really pretty leaf, and then, and then it's like, Ding! and then the, yeah, the next couple leaves, they're it's like either mutated or you know it's like they're super small, and I feel really bad for the buyer if if their expectations were to you know that the next leaves were like gonna be huge. Yeah, or even like the propagation leaf dies on these purges and and on these uh facebook uh groups you know you know that question comes up a lot like oh no my leaf is dying and i'm always like is it the propagation leaf and they're like yeah i go okay. well it's very common that the propagation leaf dies if the cutting is not rooted because right. there's nothing mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. support it yeah this is your bipenifolium mm -hmm. i like i like the leaf of these they're, yeah they're this is the... oh this is your most mature leaf mm -hmm. right? And this one is more elongated. It's a beautiful plant. I think um, I people don't really appreciate this one also as much. It's I like this one better than the pedatum. Oh that, yeah, that a lot it's of people. Too, it's a little chunky. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I find these leaves a lot cuter. <laughs> Little yeah. wings. I have the the variegated one, and it's it's literally one of like my favorite variegated plants. Oh, the bipen. Yeah. Oh, the, I don't have a variegated. Yeah, there's bipen. a there's a variegated bipen. Your, what is this, the... Cebus? Oh yeah, the Cebu Blue. Mm -hmm. I tried planting it outside to, to grow mm -hmm. and crawl on my wall, but um, it was too young, so it died. I'll try again. This is a super full Cebu Blue. Yeah. Are these hard to find? You know what, they pop up at like Lowe's and Walmart and Home Depot every once in a while, but it's just every once in a while. Because yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I can't really say this is a rare plant. I would mm -hmm. say it's, it's just hard, a little... Uncommon. More common and yeah. uncommon, yeah. This is the ones that's hitting the, the big box stores. Yes, the Albo, <laughs> I know. The, the and Um This is the uh, Aria, Aria. Oh. And green on green. Do you, do, you know when I'm looking at the variegated Zingoniums, yeah, like people are, you know, there's like mint yeah. Variegated, aria variegated, album variegated. You know, mine has always been a mosh podge. Like it's always been some turn out yellow, some turn out green. And what has your experience sort of been? Um, you know what? That does happen. I think like um, like even the elbow, um, you know, will turn like this kind of creamy and not so much white. white. But the aria or, uh, will never turn all white, white. They'll always stay like this and have and be fully creamy with more green, different patches of green. You know, you remember um, like a couple of years ago, it was all about elbow, 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 and now it's all about the creamy, the, the aria, creamy right, arias, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, no I really... have loved the aria for ages. Yeah. And, um, Right, and like everyone, I just could not understand uh, why people were... I, well, actually, I understand why people like the elbow. It's uh -huh. a, it looks classier. It's a staple. It's always going right. to be there. Yeah, like, you know, this green and this like pure white, very classy, right? You can imagine it in like, you know, a, a white room, mm -hmm. you, you yeah. know, like in decor, you know, and it's... Uh, but yeah, I've, I've loved the Aria. It's been my, it's been like my favorite one for, for ages now. And I'm, I'm glad it's like catching up. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. Yeah. It's all about the yellow right now. Right. This is a variegated, um, heart leaf. Oh, this is really hot these days, right? It like, is I, very hot. Yeah. Right. I, I've seen these like sell at exorbitant prices for mm -hmm. how, I would say how easy this this thing grows and to mm -hmm. care for. But it's very uh, common to revert to. 
Oh, oh, so I see. So even if you prop, it can reverse. So okay, okay. Uh, I think there is that risk of prop. All right, all right. Then I think I think if you account that into the price, but still, it, I think it's just it's it's like a flavor of the month. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how I how much I like it. I like <laughs> it. It's like a minty sort of thing. I'm like, how do I, do I like this much more than a regular Brazil? Probably. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I would say I do. <laughs> I would say I do. Yeah, yeah, I would say I would say I do. It's 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 nice. Yeah, the variegation is actually really. Uh, there's different, like you know, you got the really white one, and then you have the dark. Um, mm -hmm. one too. So it's, it's it's it has some character. Has this been just as easy as a regular philodendron? Oh yeah. Pothos kind of thing. Yeah, right? they're very easy to yeah. to take yeah. care of. There's you know. No yeah. real, you know, <laughs> there's, there's extra no, skills to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, but except that, like, you know, a regular pothos that you buy at a, 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 a like a Home Depot or something, if like something happened to it, you're not that mad. Yeah. But this one, you would be quite, you would be quite <laughs> mad. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is something. This is the popular might... one now from Gabriella the Rio. Oh. Uh, but not, not the, not the Gabby. Okay, so what's the difference between this Rio and a Gabby? Um, the Rio is, if you look at this, the, um, the coloring here is like a grayish center coloring. Okay. And then the Gabby is like predominantly the cream. Oh, I see. Um, and so, but, it, but it changes too, right? The, mm -hmm. the variegation? Or uh, the no, this never, uh, never changes. This always stays the grayish. I mean, I have like the Brazil and Silver Stripe and also Cream Splash. And the center is different because they have very vibrant green center, and um, this one only. But then the Gabby has like predominantly just cream. Oh. But the Gabby is a very slow grower. I like it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like okay. At Try first, it. it's hard to get. At first, I thought I was like, um, do I really need something like this when I have a Brazil? You do. I, this is not a Brazil at all. Right. I I can. Yeah. This is a level above. I would say. I would say this gives me Brazil vibes, but classier. Yeah. Classy, fun. I like the. I like how the leaves are. Like, yeah, the shape is different too. Yeah, I really but like the shape of the leaves. It's more elongated. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. Gabby is a little rounder. Mm. Yeah, this thing, I like it. Yeah, I, I, this thing <laughs> speaks to me. They're actually really easy to propagate. Yeah. Um, uh, they, just like the heart leaf, um, you just, you know, as they grow, they, they, they give out little air roots and then you just stick it in the ground. Um, and they propagate very fast and easy. And when you cut it, it actually promotes more growth. And, and this guy, you have him in a much more soil... Oh, that's the original. Oh, the original one. Yeah, okay. I haven't um, changed it. Um, I have... Uh, this one I just got about a month ago. Um, my original Rio is in sphagnum moss, and that one I'm, I'm rehabbing. Okay, I'm sold on this one. Okay, and then is this something special, or is this just a Brazil? Uh, no, this is a, uh, this is a cream splash. I got all these little gnat stickies. Um, this is a mix of cream splash and silver stripe, and this is a Brazil. Oh, okay. So okay, so let's let's. Just okay, let's hear. Let's do. Yeah. This is the the silver stripe. Silver okay. stripe and cream splash. Okay, silver stripe, cream splash. Because the Brazil has the bright green. Uh huh. And like a cream, but it's never like um, this it's one. It's not has... as. It's never as creamy, I guess. Mm hmm. Okay, so and this is what I have for Brazil as well, okay. Lately that they've been selling, uh, you'll see in the greenhouse that Brazil's are sun stress and looks more like this. Uh, um, but the cream splash and the white stripe, they have the cream and then the, the green in the line. And it's never gonna, Brazil's never gonna have that real cream cream. Darn it, Kalu. What, you like it? I do, yeah, <laughs> darn it. This is a mix of silver stripe and cream so. splash. I really, they're so hard to tell the difference. This is why, this is why people should not see plants in real life. <laughs> because like, I'm like, okay, I can, I can see the, I can see why people go crazy. Not as, I wouldn't say I would go as crazy as some people who are, you know, who are willing to spend out like tons and tons of money for these kind of things. But, uh, I, I can, I can see that I do like it more. I, yeah. I will say that. It's very, yeah. And then, good. oh, let me bring the Rio just so we can see the difference. Because the real people, you know, and it's funny because people sell all the time, like, oh, Rio dash slash cream splash. 
it can't be a real slash cream splash. There's a difference. It has to either be a real or a cream splash. And you see that the real will never have this green. Oh, I see. And it's always going to be the silver. See that bright green? Mm, yeah. Okay, I, I would say that this is this is my favorite so far. Uh -huh. And this one, I I could be sold on. You need. I, 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 I like it. I don't know if I, I, I need, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. I do. And then like the Brazil. Darn it, now the Brazil just looks so common. <laughs> Darn you. <laughs> right, yeah. Gotta catch them all. all right, all right. Yeah, I mean, very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I was able to see all the different forms. I mean, <laughs> you can see the, yeah, the difference. Whew. I'm a hoarder. It's like, my problem is like, you know, it's just not just like commons. Yeah. But I'm like, I want them all common, kind of common, kind of rare, you know, and rare. So, uh, you know, that's how I end up with a big Brazil and <laughs> all these. 